Hello, my name is Will Carmack, and in today's After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to animate anything to turn into snow. I'm gonna show you how to disintegrate a logo, an image, a text layer into beautiful particles of dusty snow. This is a perfect effect for right now in the winter time, and all of these plugins and tricks are native to After Effects. And before we hop into this snowy goodness, I need to let you know that this video is sponsored by my sugar daddy, Squarespace. So we're gonna grab our text tool, and we'll type in whatever snowy thing we want. For me, I'm just gonna type winter. So before we put the particle effect on there, we're going to right click on our text layer and pre-compose. I'm gonna type in winter. So before we put the particle effect on it, we're just gonna duplicate our winter. So now we have two of them. And on our top layer, in effects and presets, we're gonna type in particle system two. And you can see this effect, particle system two, we'll drag that onto our top winter layer. And we're gonna drop down all of these menus in the effect controls. For birth rate, we'll do 30. So now we have all these particles coming out. And then for position, right below that, we can move the particles left or right. We're gonna create a keyframe on position. We're gonna drag this all the way to the left, like this, and then go over like four or five seconds, and then animate the position of these particles to end on the other side of the screen. And once you've animated those position keyframes, your particle animation is gonna look like this. And then for radius X and radius Y, we're gonna change radius X to one. And we're gonna change radius Y to 50. Whoa, look how crazy that is. And then for our physics under animation, instead of explosive, we're gonna do twirl. Look how crazy this looks right now. And then for velocity, we're gonna do 0.2. For gravity, we're gonna leave that at zero. And once your gravity is at zero, it's not floating in any direction. It's just like a solid particle wipe. And then for extra, I'm gonna put 18. So now this is what we're working with. So for particle type, line is exactly what we want. It'll give us the most snowy looking look. Now for max opacity, we're gonna set that to 100. And now for the fun part, we're gonna do source alpha inheritance. So we're gonna click that. And now this particle wipe is only gonna happen where our text layer is. So when we watch that back, you can see that the particles are only shooting out of where winter is. And since this is a winter animation and we're trying to make snow, you can set the colors from birth color to white and then death color also white. So if I get rid of the bottom text layer, this is what we're working with right now. So now we're gonna animate the physics a little bit so the way this blows out is more satisfying and like wind hitting snow. So we're gonna go down the line of all the different effects in Particle System 2 to give this the perfect look. So I, at the end of this animation, want the snow to shoot out faster. You kinda see right here at the end, it almost like hits a wall. I want it to shoot out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a keyframe for inherent velocity. Right now at zero, we're gonna click on that. And then by the end of the composition right here, we'll change the inherent velocity to 40. So when we watch that back, now the snow shoots out at the end. Instead of looking like it just hits a wall, now the snow almost blows off of the text. And then what I like to do is we'll create a keyframe for resistance, which is currently at zero. And by the end of your wipe, we're gonna set resistance to 20. You can see what's happening is it's keeping all the snow in a more conformed box. Actually, the resistance is maybe a little too strong. I'm gonna set it to eight. This just looks great right now. And then to top off this particle animation, I'll create a keyframe for the X, the radius of X. And then by the end of the animation, we're gonna animate X to go to 80. That just gives the particles a little extra animation and makes them thin out a little bit. So now we have this beautiful, beautiful snow particle animation. So if we bring back our bottom winter layer, now we can blend these two together. So I'm going to come up to effects and presets and type in linear wipe, and I'll drag that onto our bottom text layer. And we're gonna keyframe the animation to match the particles. So when you see the particles start shooting out right here, we can create a keyframe for transition completion on linear wipe, and we're gonna animate it to follow these particles. And we're gonna crank up the feather, I'd say around to 30 is great. And then over the course of the composition, keep animating your transition completion to be close 
if not on top of the particles that are coming out. And so now when we watch that back, your winter is slowly gonna turn into snow. That is freaking beautiful. So now that you've seen how to do this full effect, there are some extra steps you could do to make this more creative. So right now we're animating the position of the particles to just go from left to right in one direction. To make this more dynamic, you can actually change the direction. So if you move the particles up like this, and then over time you bring it down like that, and over time you bring it back up like this, and then over time you bring it back down like this. Every time you change the position of the keyframe, watch the particles. They're going to shoot in the direction that you've animated the position. So instead of growing in a straight line, you can see how the particles are actually now moving and almost like a zigzag. So if we watch that back, you see the particles going up, going down, and the direction of the position is controlling which way the particles are shooting out. And I kind of find if you animate the position up and down like this, it does make the snow look more dynamic because it's shooting out in more directions than just one. And then just tips on how to continue to customize this if you don't like how it looks. You can always change the birth rate of the particles to be less. Right now we have it 30, but if I change it to 12 particles for birth rate, now you just have less snow coming out. And if you want the particles to float or go down, you can mess with the gravity. So you can put negative 0.05, enter, and now your particles are slowly gonna float up once they've gone off the word. And of course, you can always use the fill effect on both layers. So let's say I wanna put, um, I don't know, green, and then copy and paste that fill effect onto the bottom layer. So now it's just green like this. Many ways to customize this great effect. And for funsies, you know, in under particle, under line, you can change it to like stars. And so you can turn it into stars if you'd like, that's pretty fun. And if you're like me and you're creating an intro animation for a snowboarding video for Insta360, we can go to one of my favorite websites ever, which is footagecrate.com. We can type in snow. So I can just download a bunch of turbulent snow animations. And so now when I drop in all the different snow assets, you have this really creative and interesting winter animation. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you create an amazing snowy animation perfect for the winter right now. I hope everyone liked this tutorial, and it's time to thank my amazing sponsor, Squarespace. I have to introduce to you Squarespace's design intelligence. You might not know this about me, but I have the biggest collection of vintage life magazines in the world. And I wanna create a site showing off this American history in a really pretty way. And so with Squarespace's design intelligence, I can create a website that looks perfect and vibey. So with these vintage magazines, maybe some cool vintage looking shapes to show off some covers. A nice color scheme that really matches the dark tones of these magazines. And if I need some assistance, they have award-winning templates. So I actually have a lot of duplicates of these vintage magazines and I wanna sell them as collector's items to other people. And what's amazing about that is Squarespace has online stores you can create. So if you have products, whether that's jewelry, plants, vintage magazines, you can create a beautiful online store with Squarespace. And even better, Squarespace Payments is endless. They have all the popular payment methods like Klarna and Afterpay, all the buy now, pay later options. And if you don't think Squarespace is incredible yet, well, how about the fact that they gave me a code to give you for 10% off your first website or domain. So go get a discount on creating a website that will bolster your image as a professional. Really anybody can benefit from having an amazing website. So build it with Squarespace. Where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day.